Alright, this video is for LaptopScreens.com, showing you how to replace your laptop screen with a Ferro Lenovo V570. I ordered my screen off of laptop screens, it cost me like 55 bucks. The problem we had here, my dad closed the screen on some jelly beans, and as you can see, it is now damaged. So I'm going to show you how to replace it. Got the new screen here. First thing we're going to do is turn the computer off, remove the power supply. The materials you're going to need for this, I used uh, just two little Phillips head screwdrivers and a flathead precision. So the first, first step of getting this screen out is you're going to have to pop the front off which I used a flat head for. You just kind of stick it in here. I already popped some of these off to make it quicker, but it'll basically come off like this when you're all done. What you're gonna need to do to get this whole front part off, I'm gonna get in a little closer here so you can see. But right in this area, in the bottom left and in the bottom right, you'll see two little black stickers. You're going to want to peel them off and it's going to reveal two more screws. So you just want to get rid of those. And voila. Next, you're going to see screws in the top left, top right, bottom right, bottom left, etc. You're going to want to pop, you're, you're going to want to unscrew these, and it should pop the screen out. Or actually, pop the back panel off. So I'll go ahead and do that. It helps if you use a magnetic screwdriver. These screws are really tiny. They can be lost easily. And you don't want that to happen. Like that. Once you've done that, this back panel should pop off like so. Leaving you with the metal frame holding the screen up, which is where I use my smaller screwdriver to unscrew the screws at the bottom left, top left, top right, bottom right, whatever. Once you do that, it's gonna let go of the screen so if you for some reason care about your broken screen you might want to get somebody to hold on to it or keep a hand on it or something like that So once we get this out, we're going to go ahead and lay it flat across the keyboard. And 
and you're gonna see let me show you this group of stuff it's just uh, some sticky stuff holding down some screen information connection information whatever the connection that you're gonna wanna remove is this gold one right here that's what connects the screen to the motherboard um, you're gonna wanna go ahead and unstick it it's fine don't freak out about it you're gonna have this connection right here you're just gonna gently pull back on it kinda pull like forward in that way and your screen should come right out and I want to lay that back and now we've successfully detached the screen So basically, we're going to do what we just did, but do it in reverse. Uh, lay the screen flat. And reconnect the jumper. Jumper is a little difficult to reconnect, but just be persistent. And now that we've got that in there, that's really all you'll need to get the screen going again. So I'm going to go ahead and show you once that connection is in there. And it's all good. Once again, I got my screen off laptopscreens.com. That was the website. Laptopscreen.com. And it was about 55 bucks before shipping. Saved me a lot of money. Instead of having to buy a new laptop or get somebody else to do it, Geek Squad wanted to charge me 400 bucks. So, that's that. <laughs>